Welcome to Love Vibe TV and today's conversation on how to find your person. You may be thinking, oh, do I have to do online dating? Where am I going to meet someone? I'm working really hard. I'm never free. Like I don't go to bars. There may be a lot of things coming up in your head that make it seem like it's going to be impossible to find someone in your life. And maybe you've already experienced some of that, trying out some dating, putting yourself out there and feeling like the people who are attracted to you aren't your person. And that gets to be frustrating. And I totally get it. So if we haven't met before, my name is Macy Monterazzo, also known as the Reverend Lunch Lady. And I love to share with you tips and strategies and tools that support your consciousness in creating whatever it is you want in your life. And oftentimes I talk about the art and the consciousness of finding the one, one of my favorite subjects. And personally, for me, I had an experience where I was in my 40s, still single and really wondering, is there something wrong with me? Maybe there, there probably is something wrong with me. There must be something wrong with me, or maybe it's not in the cards or Maybe I should just throw in the towel and adopt 14 cats. I had those thoughts quite a bit. And what I learned when I actually made the decision to say, you know what? My heart is calling for love. I want this. I'm having this. When I made that decision and then really dug into new ways of thinking and being with myself that changed it all. And now I'm with my beloved Larry for now 11 years, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, and so today I want to share with you the real how and where to find your person. Because it's not just like this one lane thing where Either someone fix you up or you have to force yourself to do online dating when you hate it. It's not that. So we're going to talk about some key things that have to come before your person comes in. This is probably not a surprise that it's some, ooh, let's get that arranged. It's some inner work required. And first of all, you have to remember that if you have the desire for love, then it's absolutely possible. So any energy you're spending trying to kind of helicopter parent that heart desire, like, oh, can I have it? Or can I have it? Well, here's probably why you can't have it. Oh, you live in the wrong place or you're too, you're too old or you're this or that. Like the inner critic will go crazy with that. I recommend right now to cancel all of that. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you aware of a desire to have a love relationship in your life? Like, does that light you up? Would you love to have a person to share life with, to have experiences with, to go on adventures with? If the answer is yes, then done. That is absolutely possible. That's absolutely possible. When you are choosing to listen to your heart, and say yes to that, then there doesn't need to be any, any doubt and fear. I have a zillion videos on how to deal with doubt and fear. This one, we're going to focus on where to find your person. So, but that is essential to acknowledge first. Then your person, you know who your person is. So I know that's not the where and the how, but let's just tap into, you are aware of the kind of person that you would like to be with. You may or have not acknowledged that recently, but consider your life. It's going to be really important because your person is in your values. Your person is in the spaces that you choose that make you happy. So if you are the kind of person that loves traveling to new places and that lights you up, then your person is in that space too. Your person likely has a value of enjoying different cultures and seeing different places and 
and taking adventures. So when you are aware that the energy of you that makes you happy, the things that you choose that make you happy are also the things that your person is going to choose. And I'm already hearing people saying, yeah, but he doesn't have to be exactly like me or she doesn't have to like all the things I like. So it may not be true, Macy. Well, the thing is really looking at what you want in your lifestyle with a person is naturally going to overlap with values. It'll naturally overlap with your values. It may not be every single thing. It may not be down to, I like mint chocolate chip ice cream and so does he, but it's a value. It's like how you live your life, how you make choices, how you, um, you know, really what makes you happy in the world. So pay attention to that because your person is also living in those values least overlapping with them in a significant way. Um, I don't even like the word significant, but we're going to throw it in there. But they're overlapping in your values. So you like traveling. You love being in nature. You are a um, skiing. You love, you know, being active, being active skiing or running. Then consider those things. Because if you're not actually honoring you and your values and your happiness and you're in a place where you're putting that stuff off and you're just hoping and wishing someone shows up to make you happy, that's not going to work. That's not where your person is. Your person isn't in that hoping and wishing space. Your person is in the choices that you make that make you happy. So I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of uh, energetic in a way, but really pay attention to this because as you do, as you're honoring you and you're choosing those things that like light you up and make you happy, then how you love your life is your love life. This is a mantra that I come back to over and over again in the super loved system. How you love your life is your love life. And when you're living that, then your person will naturally find you. And when you're living that, you're just naturally in communities like that. And when you're living that, your energy is naturally magnetic. So if you were to choose to go to a singles event or choose to use online dating, which I highly recommend those kinds of tools as part of your strategy, because why not? But it doesn't have to be the only strategy then that's a great message to the universe that you're really serious about meeting someone and really committed to that in your life. If you are not committed to it, then you can't really call in someone who is interested in committing to a relationship. So keep that in mind too. Your person is going to be at the level of consciousness and commitment that you're willing to have with yourself. So if you always put yourself last um, or putting yourself down or aren't, you know, aren't caring for doing the self-care that you need or giving yourself pleasurable things in your life, then you're basically modeling for a crappy relationship to come in because you're not having that great relationship with yourself. It's all a mirror. So paying attention to that. The other piece um, that you want to keep in mind is that when you have that desire for love, and this is my favorite one, when you have that desire for love, that is the manifestation of love. I'm going to say that again. When you have that desire for love, that is the manifestation for love. So you already have it. This one can be tricky because I know that we're really trained to look at our 
3D reality, the things around us, the life that is right in front of us in this moment and say, this is what I can or can't have. This is my life. Well, your awareness of the desires and the inspirations and the imagination that's flowing through you is also a creation. So one of the things we know in creating a creative consciousness and creating our life is that when you actually acknowledge what is here, acknowledge the love story that's here for you as if it was in the 3D, because it's actually in the 3D, just in a different form. It's in the form of the awareness of it. Then that's what brings it into your world even faster. Have you ever had that experience where you're totally like giddy in love from the beginning, like have that puppy love, you have a crush on someone and you're like, oh, you're walking around on sunshine and you're just like, everyone's like, wow, what happened to you? Like, I'll have what she's having, that kind of energy. That's the thing that attracts even more. Every time I've been in that energy, I've had like all of a sudden, all these other people have crushes on me or like me or want to date me. And that's, that's been the case more than once. So that's what's really cool about acknowledging your desire for love as the manifestation and just recognizing, well, it's in a different form. Yes. And it is here. So it is here. It's like the woman who is pregnant with a baby, just because you're not seeing the baby outside the body and in a blankie and, and hearing it crying doesn't mean the baby doesn't exist. The baby's there just because the seed is under the soil doesn't mean that there's not a plant sprouting. So are you willing to honor your love story now that it's here and now and, and, and let that be this gift for you? Like, wow, I have my love story. I have it. I have it now. I'm so grateful that I have it. I'm so lucky to have a person. So lucky that this is my life. I'm so grateful and happy that I have a person. I even know who this person is. This person is someone who really adores me. This person is someone who cherishes me. This is someone who I adore. This is someone who makes me laugh. This is someone who also loves animals. This is someone who is creative and successful like me. This is someone who loves and you just keep going. You get to keep going with that. And I encourage you to do that. Do, you know, pull out your phone and record yourself. Like, I know I'm so grateful now that I have this love relationship and just start acknowledging it here and now. And I promise then it's like the curtains open with the creative consciousness and the universe is like, yes, yes, you have that. Of course you have that. Of course, we would not have given you that inspiration and that awareness if it wasn't coming into the 3D. And it's the doubt and the fear and the, oh, I probably can't all the time we spend, you know, putting it away and hiding and putting it under the bed or ditching it in the trash cosmically by not believing it or buying it or going into the sad story of it can't happen that actually stops the manifestation. It's up to you to go, wow, it's here. Oh, that's what I get to have. And you have a whole bunch of other things too. What else do you know that's coming into your imagination? Is it like a podcast? Is it that you get to travel around the world? Is it a business idea that has been in your awareness? Is it a piece of art that you're going to make? It could be anything and everything. And it is yours. It's yours to have. So it's up to you to claim it. That is where and how to find your person. It's right here. So We'll summarize, you know, really your person's in your happiness, your person's in your values, your person is in all of the things that you love, and your person is in that commitment to you. 
you know, your commitment to you and the honoring of you. That's where your person is, is when you're doing that, when you're being that, when you're, you're celebrating that and your person is right here and now, the awareness of that dream and that desire and that love story is the manifestation of it. So yay, congratulations. I'm so excited to meet your person. I can't wait to hear all about your love story. Feel free to comment below and share with me about your person. What's your person like? Tell me, I wanna hear. And thank you for watching. If you like this, please share it, subscribe, invite all your unicorn friends here. I love sharing these tools with you so that you can have more of the good stuff. And remember how you love your life is your love life. All right. See you soon. Bye, everyone.